Lee, FedEx is so important. What, what is the distinction of FedEx right now? How do they compare to everyone else in freight? Well, F FedEx is really well diversified. Uh, they play in a, uh, a lot of different markets. Uh, they play in the express markets, they play in the freight market, uh, and they play in the logistics market. Uh, the thing that's hurting the most is their express business, which is their largest portion. Uh, that's being hurt by people uh, uh, trading down in terms of the service offerings. Which what do they trade down to? Instead of a, a priority service, it's more of an economy service. So instead of getting something in, in one day, uh, you're willing to, to, to wait two or three days to get that delivered. But FedEx does have. FedEx Ground, which is part of the business. Right. FedEx Ground is a different uh, business than FedEx Express. Express is really think of air freight for the most part. Ground, think about companies uh, sending stuff back and forth to each other or, you know, you getting your, your stuff from Amazon.com or, or right. Commerce, which is really a growth driver for them. But they're going through a transformation and making their, their air fleet a lot more efficient. And that's probably what's dragging earnings because they were expecting uh, about $1.6, $1.7 billion in, in additional profits from this trans transformation, but it's taking more time because the, at the end of the day, demand is not there because the global economy has become slower. Well, the demand is not there, Scarlett. I thought that was a key thing you mentioned, this idea of international expansion being tapered back to use Between the word the of the day. Between the U.S. and July, and in fact, uh, Fred Smith, the CEO, talks about tepid economic growth in the press release I mean, this is well. a global GDP issue, but is it also people like DHL? We had the Deutsche Post chairman here the other day. They're front and center expanding with DHL. Yeah, uh, with FedEx, FedEx is probably the weakest in terms of their overall uh, geographic platform in Europe. And they're going to get stronger and stronger, uh, mostly organically, maybe some bolt-on acquisitions. Uh, so we could see that continue. But with, uh, with uh, Deutsche Post, uh, they are a global brand, uh, and, and they, they, they're the, str the strongest in Europe. Let's bring some details on margins as well over for FedEx. The company sees margin improvement moderating for this year before picking up once again in 2015. So it sounds like it's going to be another turn around transition year for FedEx. Yeah, they're going to be taking additional costs with uh, refreshing their fleet, uh, and uh, that's probably going to impact margins over the near term. Uh, Bill Rudin, I want to talk to somebody who actually uses FedEx. As you know, lawyers, lawyers FedEx their pizza order for 5 p.m. It's like this prestige thing. I got to use FedEx. Is FedEx still the prestige brand in the world of Bill Rudin? Uh, yes, I think I think everybody uses FedEx, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm interesting to see that there's a, a shift in terms of you know, going more to ground. But I think also with technology, people are probably shipping less. We're, you know, in terms of our offering plan, it's, we're going to email it to uh, our, uh, you know, our... Is that, uh, that's our brilliant. Is that a threat here? Well, absolutely. I mean, you know, email has been a threat to the physical parcel business uh, since the, uh, the advent of the email, uh, as you can see by the U.S. Postal Service's uh, problems. Well, give us well, an update it, yeah. there. Is, is FedEx crushing the post office still? Are they... I, I think they're taking some share. I, I wouldn't say crushing them per se, uh, but they're definitely taking some share. And they're also a partner with the post office. They just signed a uh, $1.5 billion contract uh, recently, uh, which is going to uh, start in uh, October 1st. Um, but that's going to come with little we're, slightly we're, margins. You know, for, for our marketing material for the, the Greenwich Lane, we're totally reducing the amount of paper going more to digital uh, using technology okay. to, mark, to market Excuse the... Excuse me, that was a rude and shameless plug. He's yeah, got absolutely. his new Greenwich platform in four times on the show today. Bill Rudin with Rudin Management. Lee Klaskow, thank you so much. Well,